check this out. Clothes, fuel desk, the tenant, bathroom, use other building. However, see my breakfast over there? See the food? Nice. This guy's a root. Nice, huh? Well, good morning, everybody. FSC Trucking. That's the TA in Baltimore. Right there. I'll at least go inside in the main building to get my orange juice. But because uh, nobody's in that side, there's no food over there. And that guy's got to be a really just, you know, no fuel, no nothing. <laughs> if you're hungry and you want the food that they keep, you know, the salads that they keep in that refrigerator, I guess you're gonna go hungry. One person working here today. Oh, there ain't nobody in the other one. The nicest one possible, unfortunately, not. Not probably going to have anybody, I guess, until 8 a.m. Oh. That might be something to eat over there. Like, usually got the sandwich, the, the salads and sandwiches out. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't let me in this to buy the no, damn salad. Really Someone's standing in there saying they close, so someone's working. Yeah, there's a problem there. I thought it was a truck stop, right? Well, have a better day, I guess. place ain't never open anymore, like ever. Hey, your brother. What's that? I'll have it for you, man. Yeah, but I'll have it for you, man. Yeah, that's a TA in Baltimore. No food at the Fuel Island. No fuel at the Fuel Island. And uh, vagrants sleeping in the lobby. That's the TA for you, boys and girls. Make our way back to the truck. Someone ought to show these videos. I've done a few of them. Just the problems with truck stops, the TA particularly. This one here, it's like, like I said, our restaurant hasn't opened since COVID. Uh, the Fuel Island, there used to be food in there, uh, what was it, last week I was here, they had salads, a couple sandwiches, that's all I wanted was my damn salad. So, you know, what is going on in the world of truck stops down here? It's like, 
honestly, I think that this particular truck stop, it's like, I think their attitude is we're the only game in town. And if you don't like it, kiss my ass, go somewhere else. Oh, there ain't nowhere else? Well, tough crap. Deal with it. I think that's their attitude at TA. We're back here with Orwell, who's completely nasty from the bad weather. But it is what it is. All right, let's go try to have a more positive day today, huh? Let's get this thing rolling. Let's get down to the port. Let's get this blower truck unloaded. Get this goofy wide load and start the next bunch of uh, <laughs> nonsense for the day. All right, there's Orwell popping off. You ready to go? Let's hit it, huh? Three cliff bars and an OJ. I won't die. Cliff bars and an orange juice. That's what I'm entitled to today, boys and girls. Probably should have did that earlier. It's turned off the green APU. Obviously Orwell's aired up, ready to go. It's been 6.30, so you just started letting guys in the gate about 30 minutes ago. We're delivering at Mid-Atlantic Terminal, and they don't open until 8 o'clock. So we've got time. I reloaded this on Saturday. Don't laugh at me in my silliness, but I, uh, <laughs> I thought they'd be here to unload on Monday. That was yesterday. So I parked in front of the gate and I was the only truck there and I'm like, oh, it's day after Christmas, not everybody's running. But come 5.30 I woke up for the gate to open at six and there wasn't another single truck there. And I'm like, all right, I'm late to the party here or early, one or the other. How those guys over there even have hoods on their trucks, I don't know. Guys literally abandoned their trucks in this parking lot any which way they wanted to and went home. And that middle lane, all since I got here Monday morning, was just horrifyingly crowded. But anyway, yes, I came here to unload on Monday and there was not a soul here anywhere as far as like at the port. So I came back here, I had to invent the parking space, went to sleep, and then I got up about noon, got the truck parked to where I was just now. Yeah, God forbid guys park here for whatever reason, right? Why, why is, they don't do anything with these gates, so why is parking here a problem? It, it's like selective, just being selective with people parking. I, I don't get it. The gate is laying there on the ground. This place is an absolute dump. Honestly, if it's gonna keep being the way it is, I'd rather not even be here. I'd rather it just go out of business like the old, uh, oh, what the hell, the old Walt Whitman truck stop. Anybody remember that crap old?
TA Corporate sees these videos, especially uh, this particular place, this particular video here. This is just, I'm sorry, I don't mean to rant, but enough is enough with these garbage truck stops. DA Baltimore, as far as I'm concerned, bulldoze it. DOP sitting in that center median right there later today. From here, you just get on 95 and go one exit south. The exit's literally next to the toll booth that they're tearing down. So what I did on my way down was I had I forget which one, but one of the loves. Think back in Eaton, Ohio. When I bought my salad, I bought two of them. And it was cold enough in the truck to where it kept it nice and cold in the back against the back wall in a sleeper. So it kept my salad nice and cool. That way I could avoid the TA and go straight to the port. So yesterday when I woke up at the port, they were closed. They came back to the TA. That's what I ate in the morning before I went to went to sleep. Then when I got up, it was around noon, 1230. I wanted something to eat, but I didn't want uh, the salad at the fuel island. That's all they had was the salad. There wasn't much else going on. Watch out. Construction on road ahead. Yeah, we're getting off this exit. Now one sign the construction's in the in the tunnel. They got one of the tubes closed. They're coming off the ramp. I don't want a salad again. I wanted like some meat, so I ordered uh, ordered DoorDash. So I had that come to the truck. And that was uh, KFC. But I ordered enough to last all day. So I had that yesterday. This morning I figure out right, I get my salad and I'll eat while we're waiting in Mid-Atlantic. That was the plan, but like my mother always tells me, you know, you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. Uh, joke's on me, right? So whatever. It's not even a tunnel traffic, it's just getting people through the old toll booths. Oh, salt trucks over there getting salt loaded up. You know, they're bringing salt in. I don't believe they're expecting any more Bob Cyclones anymore. You know, snowstorms. Bomb Cyclone, what we used to call a snowstorm. I get it, it was it snowed a little. Then it was really cold and really windy. 
little more colder than normal and a little more windier than normal. Like every winter. They made that term up recently. Bomb cyclone. They take that from uh, I can't remember what the hell they I don't remember it. I'll have to look it up, put it on the screen. It's a really technical meteor meteorological that's a hard word. It's a really technical meteorological word that they use. Like, only die-hard weathermen use that, right? Like, if you work in meteorology, you would know this term. So they shortened it up to make it sound scarier. It's a real thing, but they changed its wording. I wish I could remember what the hell it was. But anyway, they make it sound scarier by calling it bomb cyclone. It's like bombus cyclonic, or I can't remember. But it's some weird crap, right? I don't even know. But the point is they make it sound scary to make it like run for your lives, we're all gonna die. It's not biblical. Like remember a couple years ago out there in Texas, the, the, the wind turbines froze up and they lost, the, they, like a large part of Texas lost power in the cold and they were all hanging in their cars warm because their houses were freezing up remember that that was two years ago it, ha it happened again except this time the wind turbines didn't freeze up um yeah that's not biblical it happens like every other year apparently so it's not the run for your lives we're all gonna die it's just yeah it's cold in the winter news flash breaking news it gets hot in the summer Especially down south. Especially down there. I like this road. Ain't this something? This is the truck route to get to the Port of Baltimore. How many billions of dollars of freight come in and out of this place and rides on this 32 cent road? Long story short, they're weaponizing the weather. You ain't figured that out yet. I remember as a kid, the Weather Channel started that crap when I was a kid. My dad used to fall for it. Love my dad to death, but he used to fall for it. If it was going to drop like three drips of rain and drizzle, they would cover the whole day as washed out in rain. And we left a lot of fishing trips late because of that. I don't want to go out in the rain and it was dry all day long. Like, really, Dad? And I remember thinking, it as a kid, like, watching the weather too much makes you ruin trips and vacations. Like, many times we didn't take the boat out because my dad thought it was going to be crappy weather, and it wasn't. And nine out of ten times, the crappy weather didn't show up. And my dad fell for it consistently. But this is in the 90s, late 90s. No, not even late 90s. I graduated in 95, so we're talking early 90s. And my dad fell for it all the time. And ever since then, I've never relied on the Weather Channel or anybody else to seem to have a bias towards crappy weather. When I was a kid, I didn't understand why uh, the, you know, the stations were biased towards bad weather. I didn't understand it. I do now. fully aware that modern politics have weaponized weather you know because if it's cold in the winter that's bad and if it's warm in the summer it's bad and if it's 
mild in the spring, it's bad. And if it's mild in the fall, it's bad. And if the leaves change colors, it's bad. And we're all gonna die. <laughs> in reality, this is the fourth season. Ay, ay, ay. I'm on a roll today, this, uh, this morning, ain't I? I just don't suffer fools easy. It's kind of what it is. And I really wish that, like, you know, back with the truck stop. You know, if people did their jobs, if I did my job as bad as they do theirs, then I would have one. And it's maddening to think that we just get hurt like that. over there. There's room there now. Either that or that Kenworth's still sleeping. See, he still got this all barricaded off. Same spot, B, C, or D row. So I'll try to put it in the same area where we put the last one. Space that's going to or coming from. I haven't seen that thing in a while. You know, that thing called the sun. Been a while. It'll be D row. Dropped it in D or C, I think C. The one we dropped off should be up here on the left. Unless it got moved. But there's all kind of room over here in B row too. Yep, there's the one we dropped.
we forget to let the air out of the back. Oh, look at how salty I am. Ugh, look at this. Patched up wire again.
All righty. Start the big girl up. Works better than put the battery on. That'll work. lock the rear steer in it automatically goes to this selection here you don't want that I don't know why it does that okay I thought so. Look at that, how it turned by itself. I thought I felt it do that. It did it by itself. Look at that. I should have straightened it, I hope. Yeah. There we go. Yikes believe that nonsense oh, let's put it in drive and I was driving straight Can't see how it's lining up to the trailer. Alright, we're good. Just want to make sure. That episode, the last one, rear steer, put it right off the side of the trailer almost. And damn near didn't catch it. Back up and put it over there in row B.
work. Close, but not terribly close. It's in the bounds, so. I can bring it forward a little bit. All right, there it is. One MB truck delivered. Now I just gotta put the trailer away and wait for the checker. Excellent. Turn the battery off. Get the air back on. Look at this one. I hauled this one before. The uh, the bomb cyclone. We're all gonna die. Yeah, remember this one? Yep. That's right, boys and girls. Thank <laughs> you.